You know what that means? There's, there's a saying we have in America. I'll tell you the saying. They say, I'll believe it when I see it. That's what they said. If you don't have something to show me, don't waste my time. I don't want to hear this Quran stuff. I'll believe it when I see it. I had a student like that in college when I used to teach in college. I used to teach Arabic and most of my students were non-Muslims. And a guy came up to me and he is, is, is a student. He said, Professor, I like Islam. I like it. It's cool. But I just, you know, I haven't seen anything. Can you take me to like a jinn possession or something? <laughs> if I could just see something, I, you know, I'd be good. This surah, this beginning is the answer to that problem. Let me tell you, you guys have traffic problems in Malaysia, yes? Does the news, the radio tell you about traffic problems? Yeah? So you're driving on the highway and it's no traffic, zero traffic. It's, I mean, this is like amazing. And you're flooring the car and you don't see any car in front of you. You turn the radio on and it says two kilometers ahead of you. You see, I didn't say miles, I said kilometers. I'm proud of myself. Two kilometers ahead of you. Two kilometers ahead of you, there's an accident, there's really bad traffic. If you can take an exit, take the exit. That's what the radio tells you. Do you see the accident? No, you don't see the accident. But do you take the exit? If you listen to the radio and says an accident is a five hour delay, will you take the exit or no? Yeah, you'll take the exit. I mean, maybe in America you'll listen to the radio and say, oh, I don't listen to the kuffar, I'm gonna go into the traffic jam or something. <laughs> but, you know, but you know, you, you'll take the exit. You know why? Because news came to you from a reliable source. The reporter sees something that you don't see and you trust him. You don't say, ah, these radio people, I will believe it when I see it. And you will go <laughs> and get stuck in ah, I believe now. <laughs> there really is an accident. Like, what's the point now, buddy? <laughs> Allah Azza wa Jal created human beings, right? And human beings are able to think and understand things even if they haven't seen them. Animals are not like that. If for example, we made an announcement, brothers and sisters, please leave the building from this exit. If we made that announcement, we would start leaving from this exit. But if there was a cat in the building, if there was a fly in the building, if there was a dog, it won't be a dog, but whatever, it wouldn't leave. Why not? It doesn't have the ability to understand speech. But if an animal sees a fire, will it leave? When it sees a danger, will it leave? An animal will only behave when it sees. But a human being can behave when he understands, when she understands. Right? Allah says that He taught the Qur'an and He didn't give you anything else to believe. He gave you Qur'an's enough. Qur'an's enough for you. You know, there are other small miracles here and there, but the main message of Islam is the Qur'an itself. The miracle is Qur'an itself. Why? Because human beings are human beings. They're not animals. You don't have to see to believe. You can think about it and you can believe. That's why he says, عَلَّمَ Quran And what? خَلَقَ insan. He taught the Qur'an because he created the human being. You people aren't animals. If you say, I will only believe when I'll see, you're acting like a goat. You're acting like a cow. You're acting like a monkey, but you're not acting like a human. A human being can reason. The Qur'an is appealing to reason.